Pit more now in our pinpoint weather team coverage of today's air quality alert. As Michelle just mentioned, the hot and humid weather is extending past the holiday weekend as people head back to work and uh, more kids head back to school. I'm going to see reporter Brian Yacono joining us live from North Kingstown with more this morning. Brian? Well, Danielle, good morning. Students here in North Kingstown kicking off the school year today. We've seen a little activity in the bus yard here at the high school behind me. Obviously, they're kicking off the year with a difficult and hot stretch uh, in the days ahead with an air quality alert starting today. According to the Rhode Island DEM and also as we're hearing from Michelle this morning, that unhealthy level of uh, uh, ozone expected to hit in this afternoon. If you're not familiar, this has to do with ground level ozone and pollution from vehicles and industrial sources. Here's the recommendation on days like this. They say limit your car travel, take the bus, try to carpool when possible. There are also health concerns connected with increased air quality levels. It can uh, cause coughing, chest pain, shortness of breath. Conditions can also uh, aggravate respiratory issues. If you have asthma, your kids have asthma. The DEM recommends getting in any exercise you have planned for today first thing this morning, and then really try to just spend the rest of the day as much as possible in air conditioning. We also know that a number of Connecticut schools so far plan to close early today because of the high temperatures expected. So far, no indication any Rhode Island schools will close early. And keep this in mind, a lot of classrooms do not have air conditioning. Just last week, I was touring a middle school in Cranston with the new superintendent there. Some of the science rooms had air conditioning. Those were comfortable. The rest of the building, however, was sweltering, likely to be that way again this week. With the Mobile Newsroom, Brian Nicono, Eyewitness News.